good morning today we are continuing the lesson olympic movement in this chapter we have studied about the international olympic and olympic history today we will discuss about the indian olympic association some of the part of this topic indian olympic association we have discussed in previous video so these two three slides just i am revising and then we will come to the next topic next part of this topic so indian olympic association it was established in 1927 sir durabji jamshed ji tata was first founder president of ioa and was elected president in 1928 so he is known as the founder of also the indian olympic association sir durab ji jamshed ji tata dr narayan was the first founder secretary general of ioa four year term for all office bearers the tenure for of the all office bearers four year in 1928 amsterdam olympic games in netherland indian hockey team participated first time and won gold medal so first time the indian team participated hockey team participated in the amsterdam olympic in netherland so indian hockey we will see here the achievement of indian hockey in the olympics indian hockey team is the most successful team ever in the olympics won 8 gold one silver and two bronze medals six consecutive gold medals from 1928 to 1956 1964 tokyo olympic and 1980 moscow olympics two more gold medals we won in hockey the contribution of a great player major dhyanchand was unforgettable for any sports person dhyanchand was part of the team that time and major dhyanchand is a great player a great personality he is very confident in his techniques and the way he used to play was really amazing so we will know more about major dhyanchand major dhyanchand is known as major because he was in british indian army he was a major in british indian army so that's why he is known as major dhanchand so major dhanchand born on 29th august 1905 and died 3rd the 3rd december 1979 was an indian hockey player and one of the greatest hockey player in the history of sports greatest player because such a player is very difficult to find he was extraordinary goal scorer known as magicians of hockey he used to score goals magically at that time people know then the hockey ball remain stick with the attached with his stick all the time while he is carrying the ball towards the goal post so that's why the people say him the magician of hockey there is the magic in his hockey stick that the always ball remains with his stick so that's why he is known as magician of hockey 
and after he passed away his hockey stick is checked to clear the suspect of the people suspense of the people some of the people that they think that there is any magnet which always catch the ball so this was only rumor his hockey stick is checked that was completely made up of wooden according to the norms so he is declared as a magician of hockey and a great sports person his influence in the field of hockey was that out of 8 the 7 gold medals india won in olympics so out of 8 gold medals 7 we won his birthday 29 august is celebrated as national sports day in india every year india launched an award for his name in sports also it is known as major dhyan chand award so up to here we have also discussed in previous video now we will come to the next video next uh, slide indian olympic association objectives objectives of indian olympic association the objectives are development and promotion of olympic movement in the country whatever the activities like preparation for olympics participation for the olympic games everything so related to the olympic development of the olympic games and olympic movement in india related with the indian olympic association enforcement of rules and regulations whatever the rules and regulations are there these should be followed that is the responsibility of indian olympic association for charge and full charge and control of all matters related to the olympic so they are solely responsible for every activity every matter which is related to the olympics encouragement of physical moral cultural education of youth recognizing state olympic associations and national sports federation so this can recognize the state olympic association and national sports federations another objectives are there of indian olympic association to undertake all responsibilities like selection transportation training welfare of teams participating in olympic games with the help of nsf national sports federation so with the national sports federation the olympic association take all the responsibilities of selecting the players for the olympic their transportation their training and welfare of the teams how the team will participate in the olympics everything related to the participants of the olympic is with the indian olympic association this is their responsibility take disciplinary action against any federation for misbehavior or any other undesirable activity bringing discredit to the country so any activity any misbehavior and in indisciplinary uh, activity is in the sports so they can take any action against them so this is the right of the indian olympic association they can punish any federation any participant for their misconduct which can bring discredit to the country at international level enforce and defend the exclusive rights of the association to use olympic flag and olympic insignia so whatever the olympic 
symbols are there. So, the IOA defend them, the right of use of the Olympic symbol and they are, have right to use the Olympic symbol but they can defend them also of their misuse. So, these are the Olympics, the objectives of the Olympic. Now, the structure of the Indian Olympic Association, the office bearers and executive council members. This is the structural body in which the president is there, one president, one secretary general, one treasurer, one senior vice president, eight vice presidents, six joint secretaries and ten executive council members. In which the executive council members, the executive council members are, they vote for the president, general secretary, vice president and joint secretaries. So, this is the structural body. So, here we must know about the presidents and general secretary. The president of Indian Olympic Association is present president is Dr. Narendra Dhruvatra since 14 December 2017. And he was chief of International Hockey Federation. So, presently he is the president of Indian Olympic Association and before that he was a chief of International Hockey Federation. The tenure for president is also for four years. And while Mr. Rajiv Mehta was re-elected Secretary General for a four-year tenure since 2017. Before that also he was the Secretary General and again he was re-elected as a Secretary General. So this we have also discussed in the previous slides that the past these peoples can be re-elected. President also can be re-elected and General Secretary General can be re-elected. This is all about the Indian Olympic Association. So, we will come to the next topic that is the National Sports Awards in India. The awards in the field of sports which are given in the India, in our country are known as National Sports Awards in India. So, mainly there are three national sports awards in India. So, there are three national sports awards in India which are given for outstanding performance in sports and games to the sports person or coaches nominated by the selection committee. And this selection committee is formed by the Ministry of Sports, Youth and Sports and in this committee there are the various sports celebrities are there like the champions of the Olympics, the office office wearers of the SAI Sports Authority of India and other good perform sport performer. So that delegation, that committee select nominate the players for the sports awards. So, three sports awards are there. National Sports Awards, Rajiv Gandhi Khel Ratna Award, which is the highest level sports award is there, which is already uh, commonly known as Khel Ratna Award. Second award is, that is Dronachari Award. Dronachari Award is the award which is given to the coaches. So, this is for 
encouragement of the coaches motivation to the best coaches who has produced the best quality of player good player for the nation to perform well internationally so the good coaches who has produced good quality of players for the nation so these coaches are awarded by the dronacharya award as we must know the dronacharya is the name of the guru from mahabharata and uh, that's why this award is given in the memory of guru dronacharya another award arjuna award this arjuna award is also given to the sports person for their outstanding performance at the national and international level and this award is also given in the name of great pandava arjuna we all know arjun in mahabharata and he is great in archery and greatest student of guru dronacharya arjuna is known for archery greatest archery so that's why this award is given in the memory of arjuna so these awards we will discuss in detail so first we will come to the first we will see the awards are there the momentous of these awards this is first one is the momento for rajiv gandhi khel ratna award second the momento of the dronacharya award guru dronacharya is there and he is teaching his the sports skills the archery to his student third one is arjuna award so these are the momentos which are very significant these awards are given to the sports person this is a pride moment for any sports person to receive these awards national sports awards so we will come to the each sports awards we will discuss national sports awards in detail rajiv gandhi khel ratna award rajiv gandhi khel ratna award in sports and games is the highest sporting honor for the republic of india the award is named after late mr rajiv gandhi former prime minister of india who served the office from 1984 to 1989 so this is the period he was a prime minister for tenure of 4 5 year unfortunately after that he passed away he died accidentally so the rajiv gandhi khel ratna award is in the given in the memory of of former prime minister mr rajiv gandhi late mr rajiv gandhi that it is the award the topmost award in the field of the sports and games this award is also given annually by the ministry of youth affairs and sports and this award started in 1991 1992 after the death of mr rajiv gandhi most of the people sports persons 
desire to achieve these awards by their performance this is the pride for a uh, sports person to get this award khel ratna award is the highest level of award this is sports award like in the civilian awards there is the bharat ratna award is the top most award so we have the khel ratna award in the sports awards this is given only to the sports person for their marvelous performance for their excellent performance at the national or international level we will discuss about the eligibility and the uh, what is given in this award what is the value of the award that we will discuss so this is the highest level of award we must know khel ratna award this is known as rajiv gandhi khel ratna award so it is started in 1991 1992 after the death of prime minister rajiv gandhi so late mr rajiv gandhi's memory this award is started so this we must remember the recipient of this award is selected by the committee constituted by the ministry of government of india that we have discussed in the national sports awards initially that the committee decides about the participant the recipient of the award and is honored for their spectacular and most out outstanding performance in the field of sports over a period of 4 year at national at international level so what is the eligibility most outstanding performance in the field of sports over a period of 4 year at international level according to the revised rule of 2018 the award comprises a medal which is memento of the rajiv gandhi khel ratna award a certificate of receiving the part the award and a cash prize of 7 lakh 50000 so again we can see here what is the award this award is given to the sports person for his or her outstanding performance in the field of sports over a period of 4 years at international level over a period of 4 year if he or she has performed excellent and the performance is was outstanding so they can be nominated for this award and this award in this award what they are getting a medal memento of the rajiv gandhi khel ratna award a certificate of rajiv gandhi khel ratna award and cash prize of 7 lakh 50000 so the memento again we can see rajiv gandhi khel ratna award memento is there 